uh, good afternoon students. Uh, I am very happy to uh, see you in this uh, online session. Uh, last class, uh, I taught uh, uh, third prose uh, for grade uh, 10th grade. I uh, empower women uh, navigating the uh, world. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in that uh, lesson, uh, we have uh, three more questions. I will complete that. Okay. Before moving into the lesson, uh, last week uh, I gave some uh, study question. Have you studied? Yes. Uh, first, um, uh, second unit, I think so. Second unit pros, uh, I think you completed. Yes. Uh, so, that uh, pros, uh, uh, short answers, book back short answers, as well as uh, paragraph, you studied. Yes. So, uh, today, uh, you read uh, the poem. It's not a memory poem. Uh, second poem, uh, The Grumble Family. Uh, read the paragraph. Read the paragraph. Uh, there are uh, three paragraphs are there. Uh, read uh, uh, today one paragraph, uh, Tuesday one and Wednesday one. Like that, read uh, three paragraphs, okay? Uh, uh, write a paragraph uh, on the Grumble family and their attitude, okay? Uh, you read uh, uh, that one, okay? Uh, according to our study uh, plan, uh, you read, okay? Uh, don't forget to read, okay? Come to our po uh, lesson. Uh, empowered women uh, navigating the world. I am going to already uh, two three class. I explain detailly about uh, the story. Uh, uh, this is the lesson. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, what was the condition of the women? Okay, women uh, empowered women navigating the world. But present day, it is not like that. Okay. Uh, this uh, women are in all the position in the uh, society. Uh, the one such achievement is uh, all women Indian navigation crew. Uh, who circumnavigated all over the world for 254 days, okay, uh, all alone in a sailboat called INSB Dharani. Uh, what is this INSB Dharani? It is given in the second paragraph, Indian naval ship vessel. Okay, this is the second sailboat indigenously built in India. Okay, uh, that one they have given, okay, INSB Dharani, okay. Uh, then it is followed by uh, where they built this INSB Dharani. Then how this uh, Dharani name uh, came to this uh, ship, okay. This is the second sailboat, okay, for Indian Navy. First sailboat is Magadev, already we said this, yes, uh, where it was uh, built uh, in uh, Goa, there is one company. Uh, then it is uh, followed by uh, how this name came to this uh, ship, okay, about uh, Ganjam uh, di uh, districts in Odisha, okay. And then uh, what are the technologies they used in this uh, INSB Dharani, we have uh, studied, yes. Uh, uh, rain marine uh, technology, rain marine navigation suits and uh, all these things are uh, they used uh, uh, in this uh, uh, sailboat, okay. Then it is followed by uh, the central government, Naviga uh, uh, Parigar, uh, uh, Sagar Parigarma. It was a project, okay, undertaken by uh, this uh, central government, okay, uh, to bring, uh, attain uh, the full potential of women, okay, to bring out the uh, full potential of women they have uh, formed this uh, project okay then uh, come to next one actually this uh, INSB uh, Dharani uh, they, they they are initiating this government initiating make in India scheme okay you all know very well about uh, our uh, BJP government has initiated a scheme called make in India all the things we should uh, uh, make only uh, in India that uh, initiations they uh, give more importance for this then next one is uh, it is uh, uh, eco friendly all the uh, this uh, technologies they used only eco friendly okay uh, one such as uh, non conventional renewable energy uh, resources such as wind they use the wind to predict the uh, meteorological oceans okay and then wave data on regular basis these are all things they used only the wind energy okay these are all things about uh, this insb dharani okay come to our point okay uh, this Indian uh, naval uh, six uh, women crew. Okay, Th this six women crew only circumnavigated the whole world uh, within 254 days. Okay, this uh, crew uh, contains six members. Okay, uh, one captain and along with five members. Okay, uh, so already it's there. Okay, uh, Le uh, Lieutenant Commander Vatika Joshi, then uh, Lieutenant Cadet uh, Pradeepa Jamwal, then Lieutenant Cadet Swati, Lieutenant. Aishwarya, Lieutenant Chief, Vijay Devi, Lieutenant Poyal Gupta, these are all the crew members, uh, uh, they underwent uh, this uh, very dangerous uh, journey. Okay, come. 
come to our point actually this uh, this uh, few they started their voyage by 10th september 2017 okay 10th september 2017 from goa they started their voyage uh, started by our uh, then uh, uh, that is uh, our defense minister of india okay that time uh, they did okay then uh, next uh, okay uh, different uh, steps they followed uh, fourth place uh, they stopped the, the, this uh, uh, sail boat and they did all this uh, uh, provisions uh, and their uh, all the things uh, what are the things they need okay they did all these things in that place okay then come to our point okay uh, actually this lesson is an interview okay uh, i said it carries 12 question they ask to this uh, crew members okay uh, so uh, they as uh, gave the answer how what are the hardships they faced okay and unpredictable uh, difficulties they uh, faced in this uh, dif uh, difficult um, uh, journey okay uh, come then uh, nearly uh, nine questions we completed in the last class okay just to recap uh, what we learned in the last class okay first question they asked how uh, well you you were acquainted with this uh, sailboat okay uh, this crew members they said okay they were not none of them know about this sailboat or uh, none of them uh, went into the sea okay this is the first time they got the experience to move into the sea at first uh, uh, they might not know how to move this uh, sh uh, sea, uh, sh boat into the water that was the difficult condition after the three years of training uh, they overcome all this uh, difficulty that is the first question the second question uh, training process uh, what was the training process they got there okay at the time uh, the first vertiga uh, joshi the captain said uh, they underwent uh, three years uh, uh, theory uh, course okay uh, theory course they underwent first is uh, communication navigation and uh, weather prediction okay uh, this is a theory course okay what are the uh, theory course they learn one is navigation another one is communication and another one is uh, weather prediction these are all very important for voyage into the sea okay come uh, then uh, uh, they uh, learned when they come into the sea uh, the practical so many practical difficulties they uh, faced inside the water okay not like a theory class it's uh, very difficult okay uh, repairing things and deal with the emergencies okay then medical emergencies all these things uh, they underwent uh, during this training session then aishurya explained okay uh, first uh, they went for a training session in mumbai uh, naval base and uh, next they went to various uh, schools in uh, kochi okay uh, for this training and then uh, they went uh, two times okay to mauritius okay one uh, for a uh, trial session okay mauritius for two times and they went for uh, uh, um, cape town that is capital city of south africa they went uh, one time there also okay uh, then uh, how to uh, 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 use uh, make use of uh, this uh, water uh, make use of electricity make use of food that is very important okay all this uh, they have learned from there what was the selection process third question is the selection process okay out of 30 members they applied for this uh, uh, journey uh, from there uh, they have selected uh, okay only uh, six members uh, okay uh, according to their uh, little survival skills okay then uh, it, uh, they got a training by one of the great man that is commander dilip donde gave the uh, training for this uh, uh, crew members uh, then next one is uh, uh, after reaching uh, this aishwarya is giving this answer after reaching the sea and uh, she had a second uh, thought in her mind okay why i come for uh, this uh, expedition another one is family members reaction the next question is uh, how the family members reactions okay uh, this uh, out of the six members uh, four uh, uh, women uh, crew members uh, were from mountain areas okay their parents did not uh, see the sea until now okay that is the first time uh, they saw the sea uh, when they were going for this expedition okay really shocked on seeing these uh, difficulties at the same time so they are so supportive as well as uh, they have so much of worry ab uh, worried about uh, this uh, difficulty next one is uh, what were your aims okay their aims in this uh, expedition so okay they have some aims okay are uh, there i uh, vertiga joshi okay uh, captain is giving the explanation uh, what were their aims uh, they should uh, do the work uh, with the honesty okay they should not do any other means okay 
uh, for example uh, when they are going for the voyage they will get all the help uh, the uh, additional help you will get from all the other places but they did not uh, take all these helps with honesty they want to uh, complete this task uh, they uh, completed okay without uh, getting any other help from other people so okay come okay uh, one quality of you that enable to complete okay uh, good quality they asked what was the good quality they have okay that is uh, actually honesty uh, when the wind blows okay uh, actually uh, the wind blows means that area they want to move away from that area uh, uh, for that time also they did not use the engine okay they did not start the engine they did not have any idea to start the engine and move away from this place okay they did not do that okay till the end of uh, that uh, expedition then as the head of the crew how did you uh, involve the team okay how you bring uh, involvement of your uh, team members okay uh, this also answered by vartika joshi okay uh, captain gave the answer for this okay uh, this all the six crew members uh, underwent the same training same years of training so all the people have the same experience of this uh, expedition uh, so all the six members uh, if there is any problem there is a group discussion they brought some uh, different ideas and which one is the best they selected that one okay like that they said then Pyle Gupta is uh, uh, giving uh, some answer, okay. Uh, so, uh, they, they all the time they take a decision, so, okay, teamwork. Uh, the six members uh, teamwork is very important. Uh, if the uh, uh, storm is uh, very rough or wind is very rough, means what happened? Uh, three members should stand outside, okay, uh, outside of the boat and uh, three members inside, they can't sit alone. Uh, they can't sit the silent. They want to do some work. Okay, one uh, one member wants to heat the water, and another one is uh, okay uh, heat the uh, gloves. Okay, uh, all these things. Uh, okay, they did. Okay, it is uh, it's a nightmare. Okay, if uh, she is alone in that place like that, Pyle uh, Gupta uh, gave the answer. Then share your experience about most challenging task. Okay, what was the challenging task? Okay, they uh, faced in this. Uh, 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 this journey okay that is very important okay okay now uh, the sea uh, you know very well can uh, re uh, really get uh, tough okay if the wind uh, pricking up or wind blows uh, very heavily okay it may be a challenging for these people uh, when they were in uh, south pacific okay that was the incidents uh, okay in pa uh, uh, south pacific uh, they uh, encountered they faced a difficult uh, uh, nearly the uh, this uh, waves or rises up to 9 to 10 meters high okay uh, that was the very difficult one uh, that time the wind blows 60 to 70 knots it may be uh, like uh, nearly it's like a hurricane okay uh, so it's a very uh, tough uh, pl uh, uh, portion of these people okay N next one another one is uh, it is a very uh, interesting experience uh, blissful experience for these people because uh, uh, if the wind uh, uh, blows in such a way it is uh, quite normal inside the sea because it has uh, no uh, blockage to block the wind from or mo no mountains inside the uh, sea so uh, they cannot uh, block the wind okay so next one is uh, if there is any uh, minor uh, um, problem in the ship so they fix together all these things they did in that place okay how adventurous the next one is how adventurous uh, your trip okay how adventurous what they did means so when they were in uh, uh, Tasman ship, I already crossing the Tasman ship already I gave the uh, meaning of ta uh, where this Tasman ship uh, Tasman sea is there means uh, it is in between Australia and New Zealand okay Tasman uh, sea okay there they witnessed the southern lights from sea okay uh, they uh, next uh, uh, bioluminescence of uh, dolphins so many sea creatures okay and uh, another one is uh, dead as uh, span whale okay uh, after seeing this whale uh, at a very long distance uh, they thought uh, it was an island uh, after uh, reaching very close to this whale only they realized it was a uh, dead span whale okay uh, whatever they are seeing in this uh, uh, sea they uh, suddenly they just googled and find what is that uh, what is this and what is that they have find out okay uh, so uh, next uh, three more uh, questions are there all of you take page number 64 all of you take page number uh, 64, uh, unit 3, prose. Uh, keep the pencil with you. Okay, I'm reading. Just listen. 
how did your uh, crew uh, spend time deep in the sea okay now what are the hobbies how did you spend your time uh, during circumnavigation uh, we picked up some hobbies and kept uh, posting pictures of uh, delicacies like uh, golkapas and the cakes okay uh, they had uh, certain hobbies inside the sea uh, golkapas means what is this uh, golkapas see the uh, glossary part the other term for uh, pani puri okay uh, they prepared a uh, pani puri and they posted in the social network uh, this uh, golkapas uh, and cakes okay they uh, they made there then we also read books uh, when the weather was pleasant and did some uh, queuing and craft work while team leader joshi read comics and the ramayana during her journey okay uh, so the next one is uh, they do, uh, did some hard work, uh, this hard art work uh, craft works as well as uh, queuing uh, they may uh, did some queuing okay what is this uh, queuing means i am saying just to listen the creation of uh, decorative designs from this stripes of curled paper with the help of uh, papers they made some uh, queuing works okay that one they did then captain uh, when they were free they read the uh, comics as well as uh, ramayana okay you all know very well uh, epic uh, that ramayana as well as some comic books like that uh, they uh, spend their life high loud cooking as well uh, as the i indulge in baking i also like the crafting a lot so i used to make uh, uh, lamp shades i love it with uh, when people appreciate the food that i cook so i gave my crew members the best dishes okay the next one is uh, uh, she is uh, very much interested in cooking as well as uh, baking okay uh, so uh, she prepared a very good food okay what are the means there what are the things they got from there she prepared a very good food for this uh, crew members okay like that is what he said okay I I also like crafting a lot so I used to make uh, lamp shirts I love it when people appreciate the food I gave my crew members the best dish that was possible on land with the limited resource that we had on the boat so boat uh, they did not have all the resources what we got from the shore so with that uh, limited resources uh, she prepared a very delicious food for that uh, uh, crew members uh, he, she gave that uh, okay that one swati then uh, bartika joshi uh, staying about uh, the uh, uh, out day spend their time six is a great number uh, we were always entertained we watched movies listen to music and we and you won't uh, believe some of the goodies that we wrestled up in our tiny pantry okay wrestled means write the meaning what is the meaning of wrestled means uh, to move with yeah to move with a soft and crackling sound making noise okay crackling up into the uh, pantry what is the uh, here the pantry refers to a yeah, small room or closet usually located in or near the kitchen dedicated to uh, store uh, uh, food storage okay dedicated to food storage what is pantry a yeah, small room uh, comma closet usually located in or near the kitchen dedicated to food uh, storage that is the uh, pantry what they did means uh, uh, sometimes these people this is by vartika ji she is uh, giving uh, they listen music uh, they uh, uh, they read uh, books okay they watch the movies okay they prepared uh, uh, delicious foods and resulted into the even while sailing in rough seas we made a par, uh, parathas baked cakes and breads and even made alvas and rasagullas okay just to see how they enjoyed their life in the uh, boat, uh, boat okay it was a very rough sea at the time they enjoyed well inside the uh, ship uh, they prepared bread they prepared uh, uh, alva they prepared uh, rasagullas okay and they uh, baked the cakes and breads they made and the parathas they made inside the a uh, ship i have understood okay so this is said by uh, vartika joshi first of all what he said okay so what he said they are read books they read bilmaga um, um, ramayana all these things uh, she said uh, she said in different idea then what motivated you to fulfill the country's expectations okay uh, uh, so that is very important uh, they went for uh, 254 days okay 
to a very long journey what motivated you to fulfill the country's expectations okay so the country has certain expectations from this uh, few members okay swati is answering uh, we knew that the entire country was watching us and praying for us so we never want them to have a single day thinking that we are in trouble we knew that it is going to happen but the people out there did not know what kind of challenges we are facing okay uh, you are well uh, you know very well okay uh, so the whole country uh, focusing their attention uh, in this uh, voyage okay uh, so uh, they had uh, so many difficulties that they faced uh, inside the journey uh, but uh, they should not show any kind of difficulties on their face or on to the people definitely they have uh, so much of uh, difficulties in this uh, uh, journey but they did not show that to the others uh, then uh, so one of the uh, so one of the motives that we kept in mind was that we did not want to frighten them we decided that once the circum navigation was over we are going to show that we have actually go, uh, gone through okay uh, but uh, 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 she said okay uh, we did not show any fear to the people uh, after uh, completing this circum navigation we can say we underwent this type of uh, difficult that is the thing in their mind okay that is a very challenging task they are going to uh, complete in this place okay as a woman how do you consider this expedition okay uh, as a woman okay uh, you all know very well initially i said yes uh, women's uh, condition in uh, india but the modern this present uh, uh, women's are entirely different when compared to older days so these questions are quite normal for women in all the places okay as a woman how would you consider this expedition this is uh, vartika joshi answering it is a matter of great honor and we could not have imagined anything better of better for our cast off cast off means uh, reject uh, right the meaning cast off reject uh, so it is a matter of great honor and we could not have imagine imagine anything better for our cast off of course uh, we being all women team it is a great boost to women in the country okay uh, so it it's a great uh, honor for this uh, crew members uh, to going uh, as a women team they are doing this uh, work okay then it's a great boost for the women in the country okay actually uh, this is uh, going for this type of expeditions okay for all the other women they got some uh, boost for they can do okay women have all the ability like that they are giving some boost for this uh, energy for other people but as we are going as sailors or uh, we are sailors have seen that the sea does not discriminate between genders it is always gender neutral and we have realized that gender does not play a role in sailing but to boost the morale in the country and for the women to take in adventurous like sailing i feel it is great that an all women team had been formed to undergo this expedition okay uh, so here moral means uh, emotional or mental condition with respect to confident especially in the face of hardships okay when facing the hardships okay uh, emotional or mental conditions with respect to confidence okay uh, so whenever we are uh, facing some difficulty we should have we need a confidence okay we should not uh, uh, fed up by any kind of uh, difficulty okay here it uh, refers to uh, this uh, c uh, does not discriminate okay uh, whether uh, uh, this group is women or this group is uh, men so it is neutral for both genders okay so uh, general equality they are talking about here okay so she is uh, very proud she got the chance to do uh, this type of expeditions okay i feel it great then all women team had been formed to undergo this expedition okay uh, she is very proud as a member of this uh, group okay so very important point is in this uh, as a women okay this uh, uh, they are showing that okay as a women okay there is no discrimination in the sea for men and women okay uh, that is uh, this is the interview given by the six members uh, crew okay i think uh, you are very thorough with this uh, lesson uh, so you just uh, read the lessons once again okay uh, so we will go for exercise portion okay come page number 65 all of you take page number uh, 65 okay uh, page number 
uh, down there is one exercise read the statements given below and state whether they are true or false if false then write the correct answer in the space given okay uh, so you read the uh, statement uh, whether it is true or false if it is false you write the right answer in the space given okay indian navy's all women crew was the first ever to circumnavigate the globe is it true or false indian navy's all women crew was the first ever to circumnavigate the globe false who did the first uh, circumnavigation a first indian solo circumnavigation was undertaken by captain dilip donde have you understood it is false first one is false the crew consists of six members of men and women indian navy service six members men and women or women alone yes all women indian navy crew okay all women indian navy crew vartika joshi skipped the crew to circumnavigate the globe yes who is the captain vartika uh, joshi uh, skipped the crew uh, to circumnavigate the globe true or false that is true yes so no need to write okay good so two more questions are there uh, write the answers for that okay uh, uh, in following classes i will give the study portion from here uh, then uh, come for next page uh, page number 66 page number 66 uh, we have uh, idioms and phrases we have idioms and phrases uh, here they have given idioms means a group of words put together as a unit which a particular meaning the meaning of the word is not literal for example okay uh, so the a group of words uh, form as a unit okay uh, this uh, idioms it may not give the answers as a literary okay according to the structural answer it will give uh, for example uh, the meaning word is not literal okay here one uh, example is there the cat is out of the bag what is the idiom the cat is out of the bag okay literal meaning the cat is out of the bag but in the figurative meaning which means the secret is out what is the meaning exact meaning is the cat is out of the uh, bag means uh, we can say uh, some cat is out okay it is not a literary meaning it's a uh, figurative meaning okay the secret is out have you understood or not this is actually vocabulary skills improve your vocabulary skill okay Uh, so don't think uh, the literal meaning it is a figurative meaning so idiom means not another one meaning is there okay <clears throat> uh, what is this uh, okay uh, next example lalita takes a last night walk in the beach once in a blue moon what is it once in a blue moon it's a idiom okay what is the an event that happens rarely once in a blue moon means what is it it happens very rarely okay that is the meaning for that okay come uh, on the ball okay what is the meaning on the ball that is a idiom there when someone understand the situation well okay when someone understand the situation well means you can say on the ball have you understood three examples uh, then uh, some exercises also there okay in the following class i will help you uh, to answer you refer the dictionary and find out the answer okay come then a facial verb a facial verb okay you already studied uh, facial uh, verbs okay it is uh, it's a idiomatic consisting of a verb and another element you in the uh, lower classes also we studied about facial verb this is actually a literary meaning not the structural meaning okay uh, not a figurative meaning it is uh, you know, so many words are there okay uh, to visit the country side okay next week i uh, have some example uh, for example looking stunning to live and breathe comfortable bed okay there are some uh, facial verb in the following class i will help you okay uh, so read according to our uh, study plan okay okay be safe in your home thank you students